how you guys doing this is Johnny back here at mymixengineer.com and I ran across this article a couple years ago on UAD website uh, they was talking about this Dr. Pepper compression settings and I was like what Dr. Pepper so reading the article the article basically was saying about this old ad advertisement that Dr. Pepper had out and it was saying that it's best to drink Dr. Pepper for energy boosts, aka sugar boosts, at 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and 4 o'clock. So some genius decided to mimic those timing, those times on 1176 or for a compression. So I'm going to pull it up. So as you can see, when you relatively bring up uh, 11, 1176 from UAD, the Rev E, it's, it's pretty close to that setting already. So I want to make the attack at 10 o'clock. The release is at uh, 2 o'clock. And the ratio at 4. 4 to 1. And pretty much you use the input and output to taste. To get the uh, amount of compression that you would like. So I decided to try this on this record. You guys heard it already. Uh, as to mention, it is released today, you guys. I should have the link in my description below. Also, an annotation here. So you guys can click the link and check out the song. is uh, Dimension by Ashley Ann, produced by Halo Hits, you guys. So let's dive right on in. Here's the vocal. Without any, comp well, without the compression that I was telling you about, the Dr. Pepper compression. Oh, Mr. Sandman, let me wake up. Oh, my mind, my mind, my mind is wandering into that dimension again. Okay. Well, yes, it does sound pretty good without the compression already. But that this compression helps it sit well into the track. Listen to it with the track playing. Yeah, it, it sits a little well, it's just a little under, it just, it don't have that uh that you need, that compression often brings that, the leveling of the vocal, I don't want it to, well, in this case you can, because it's a pop track slash hip hop track, um, you kind of want that vocal to kind of just sit there, and kind of remove some of the dynamics, but not all of them. Uh, my little trick is I am using uh, a vocal writer, so that kind of helps with the compression. So what, what you hear now is pretty much is control that vocal writer is controlling that compression because I have a G channel on here that's not using any compression, and I have two C6s that are that are the compression that you pretty much are hearing. But it's if you know anything about the C6, I am compressing the certain band frequencies, but. The Dr. Pepper setting is pretty cool. Listen to this. So I'm turning it on. Solo the vocals. Let's mute the uh, reverbs and everything. Let's mute those. So basically, you adjust the input and output to taste. Let's take a listen. Oh, Mr. Sandman, let me wake up. Oh. My mind, my mind, my mind is wandering into that dimension again. Oh, Mr. Sandman, let me wake up. Oh, my mind, my mind, my mind is wandering into that dimension again. It's actually pretty cool. Let's see what it sounds like inside of the record. Again. 
Now you hear how the vocals sits very well, like like a little bit on top of the music, but in it as well, like that, that fine line, it sits very well in the mix. So that's a cool little trick. Uh, you also can use it on bass. I've tried it on, I'm trying it on, well, I'm actually trying it on the 808. So we have an 808 here. Let's highlight a good section of it. loop that so let's get the settings on the 808 this is what the 808 sounds like as of now solo okay so it has a nice little sub going on got a little buzz as well let's see what the compression can bring to it so we're going to set the attack 10 2 for the release 4 to 1 ratio and we just do the dial it in Alright, so with the compression, I hear and I feel in the room, I feel the the sub starting to hit me, the the bottom end of this sub. I actually really like the way that this sounds on this. I wish I would have used it on the record, but this sounds incredible, just to be honest. This is a, a cool little starting place to start at when with the compression and just to dial it in to taste and see how it work out you guys I have the link to the article that you guys can check out and read it yourself and also um, I have a link to the song so you can check out the song you guys so remember mixing is an art be you stay true I'm out well, I'm still here trying to see who's going to win this with that $1.3 billion this year for the Powerball. If you're watching this video and you win, just remember me. And remember I said the key to success is sharing. Remember me. Just remember me. But good luck. You know. Oops. Hey. <laughs>